Are you stuck in fear, obligation, and guilt as it relates to relationships with narcissistic people or healing from the damage caused by narcissistic people in your life? Fog is a term used to describe that fear, obligation, and guilt. And let's talk about that and what you can do to get through the fog. I'm Lise Gallucci, and I am here to help you heal from, transform your life after you have had narcissists in your life. So let's get going. So here's the thing. When you're with a toxic person, they are using all kinds of manipulation tactics, manipulation techniques, just in the very nature of how they relate to you. They're going to be gaslighting you, which means they're going to be twisting your reality and telling you things you think and feel aren't the way things really are, or that you did things that you didn't do, or that they didn't do things that they did do. And they're going to be twisting realities to make sure that their narrative of the world and the way they describe the world is the only accurate thing that's happened. And so while that's going on, you can only hold on to your truth for so long before you start to feel confused and conflicted. And the other thing is they're intermittently causing problems. They're intermittently projecting on you. They're intermittently, meaning that they don't do it at a regular time frame or regular basis. It's super all over the place, right? Where they sometimes are nice and sometimes are horrible and sometimes they're gaslighting you and sometimes, or you know, you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop as it progresses, right? Like any minute it could happen, any minute it can happen. Well, of course that causes fear. Of course, walking on eggshells for a long period of time in your life is gonna cause fear. And obligation is because you have spent your time in your life trying to manage this relationship. You've spent all of your emotional energy just trying to make this relationship be okay. Just trying to make sure you're safe. Just trying to make sure the other person is happy as they possibly can be so that they're not coming at you with the manipulation and the toxic things that they do. And the guilt, I mean, they're telling you it's your fault, right? They're telling you constantly and either, either subtly and covertly or completely overtly that it's your fault, that if you were just more this or just less that, or if you had not done this, they wouldn't have done that. Even in their apologies, they will say backhanded things that push the blame back onto you. I'm sorry you think that. I'm sorry that, I'm sorry you feel that way. That's not an apology. It's basically a dismissal. So you're constantly getting that feedback from those toxic relationships. Now imagine you grow up with that. Imagine you've been in it long term. Your mind and your emotions have a neural pathway, have a, a, a go-to response for life that is that being the reality. So the confusion and confliction of fog, fear, obligation, and guilt that come from things that should not have the feelings of fear, obligation, and guilt. In other words, you're just always feeling them and there's no real link to something really going on in your life. You take things as if you're responsible for everybody else because you've been trained and conditioned to do so. So what can you do to break free from this? You know, it's kind of like I've been saying a lot lately, which is that you've got to come into yourself and you've got to recognize that the relationships you're having, the other person has their responsibility for themselves and you have your responsibility for yourself. So if you're stuck in the fog and you're not with a narcissistic person, but you're still feeling large amount of fear, obligation and guilt toward everyone around you and you're becoming sort of codependent because of it, or you're becoming or you or you're becoming very people pleasing or you're never happy or you never feel like you're equal in relationships or nobody likes you unless you do these things, then it's time to examine yourself and see that you've been trained to think this way. You've been taught to feel this way about yourself. And so coming back to yourself, coming back in inward and acknowledging these feelings that you're having, acknowledging these thoughts that you're having and recognizing there's another way. The other way is, learning what is clear for you, where you want to place boundaries, where you want to engage with people. You're talking about obligation and guilt. Those are basically indoctrinations that toxic people put in your head to keep you under their control so that you will do exactly as they want you to do. But if you're trying to get away from it, that is where the boundaries come in. That's where you can see clearly, do I wish to do this thing? 
Am I actually wanting to do this thing? Do I have the energy for this thing or am I obliged to do it? And when you feel it out of obligation, that's a place to place a boundary, if only for your own good for a while so that you can learn how to give when you wish to give and not when it feels like obligation or guilt. The guilt is like a judgment, okay? It's a judgment that you're placing on yourself based on what somebody else taught you you're supposed to feel about yourself. Feeling remorse or doing something that you're, you feel like you wish you had done differently towards someone is a different experience than this nagging guilt of things that don't make sense. Because if you look at them, the things you feel guilty for are usually things, if somebody else did it, you wouldn't even judge them for it. You're judging yourself. And through self-judgment, you're keeping yourself in the tidy little box the narcissist has created for you. So breaking free from this, it can take a lot of inner work. It can take a lot of feeling the discomfort of that guilt, of that obligation, of that fear, and recognizing there is nobody here but me who can make the changes that need to be made for my life. And I refuse to operate in that tiny little box that they created for me. So what else is possible then? What else comes next? And how can you open up to doing things different? We'll talk more about this and techniques for getting past these obliged feelings and these guilty feelings on another video very soon. So hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and let's get talking about this. Let, let me know in the comments what you think, if you've experienced this fog feeling, if you have tips that have worked for you that you can share with other people, or if you have questions about how to get through it and what you're experiencing specifically so that we can talk directly together and start getting some healing for your life. I will see you guys next time. And if you need coaching, group coaching or anything like that, check out the info in the main description of every video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.